We celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter, so we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. You know, so, it's so important that love is something that we really don't have to always give back to the same person or group. It's something we're called to pay forward. So, as we begin, let's kind of think about Jesus as the Good Shepherd. For the times we doubted God, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We glorify God as we pray. Glory Christ, to God, God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Almighty, ever loving God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him. For we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hey friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord to you, Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, I know mine and mine know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. That is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have the power to lay it down and the power to take it up again. This command I received from my Father. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I got an interesting letter in the mail. It was from uh, a man who watches us on the internet, and um, he's seen, he said he's never missed our uh, recording of the Masses. He's not from our parish, but he said he knows the times I've mentioned about Worst Joke Wednesday and how I have the worst jokes in the world. Well, he sent one in because he believes his jokes are worse than the ones I have told. So, this here's the guy's joke. A fly goes into the ear of a cow, and it came out in the milk the cow produced. This proves the old saying, in one ear and out the other. <laughs> he may have beaten me, I really don't know, you can be the judge of that. Anyway, there's a great story um, about, we've all heard that Santa Claus needs helpers. Ever since we were a little kid, we knew that Santa needed helpers, and so, there was a guy who went by the title, people titled him Secret Santa. And there's a story behind it because a few years uh, after this guy started doing it, somebody was able to track down the Secret Santa. And they asked him, why do you do this? What is it? Why is this so important for you to do? And then he began to, for, he began by saying, first of all, he said, he had some very successful business ventures, and therefore, he had the wherewithal to do it. But as to why he does it, here's his answer. He said back in 1971, he was broke. He was flat broke. He didn't have a dime to his name. He lived out of his car. And so, one day he went with, or actually, he went without food for a couple days in a row, two or three days in a row. He was starved. He didn't have anything to buy food with, but he just had to get some food. So what he did, he went into a, um, one of those small restaurants in Houston, Mississippi. And he went in there and he ate this big, big meal. And as he finished the meal, he said he wolfed the food down. He was so hungry. As he finished the meal, the check was brought to him. And so he kind of fumbled in his pockets, pretending that he had lost his wallet. But the owner of the restaurant came over, and apparently this guy had sized him up. The owner bends down and picks up a $20 bill off the floor. He said, oh sir, this must have just fallen out of your pocket. And he said, you know, he saved me embarrassment. I knew the guy put it down there himself and just simply gave it to me. He said I was able to pay for my meal, had a couple bucks left over to put some gas in the car. He said, that is why when I had the money that I have now, I wanted to simply give back. I didn't want people to be able to thank me. I didn't want people to be able to know it was me. I wanted to give them the dignity that man gave to me. So we have a whole lot of ways of doing things back. You know, the, um, the Good Shepherd Sunday, the oldest symbol for Jesus in the church is not the crucifix. It is the Good Shepherd. And so people in that day, they, the shepherd and the sheep were really valuable because they provided wool, they provided meat, they provided all kinds of things. If you had a lot of sheep, you were considered wealthy. So as we have the Good Shepherd, let us always be reminded how important it is we do to others. God bless. Let us read our baptismal promises. So I call, do you reject Satan? I do. And all of his works? I do. And all of his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, but rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Thank you. To believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Thank you. We now continue with these petitions. For those who feel that nobody cares about them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, 
that we may continue to be people who care about those around us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have had to give loved ones back to God, that God may bless them with peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are wounded, emotionally or physically, that they may be delivered from pain and distress, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they touch the face of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to bless us and continue to guide this journey through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we eat this bread to give you, which earth is given and few and hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we eat this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice on our hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good of God's holy church. Among the intentions this weekend includes the 15th anniversary of Jason and Sherry Shepalonis. Grant, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that renewed constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, he is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of unending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Grace Loyak, Anthony Shimento, Eileen Nosek, and the deceased members of the Capizzi family, and all those who have left this world in your friendship. We trust that we will join them someday to be with you, our God, as you truly are, and there we shall become like you and praise you forever through Christ our Lord, through whom you give us the gift of eternal life. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let's offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Have a good day, everyone.